Yo, what's up guys? I know you guys have been liking my PC optimization videos recently. So in this video, I'm going to be going through how you can fully optimize your mouse to get the lowest latency possible while playing. Hope you enjoy the video guys. So the first two tips are going to be for wireless mouse users. So if you have a wireless mouse, then these two tips are really going to benefit you a lot. So the first thing is the little chip that came with your mouse. You don't want to plug this into the back of your PC. You're going to want to plug it into the wire that came with the mouse. And then you're going to want to plug the wire into the back of the PC and then let the edge of the wire with the chip plugged in rest on your desk in front of your mouse. Doing this is just going to make the connection from the wire be closer to the mouse, giving you the lowest latency. And the next thing you're going to want to do is open up your mouse software and make sure that your mouse is always above 30%. I usually like to keep mine above 50% because if it goes below 30% it actually enters low power mode and this gives you more latency and you will notice this if your mouse is lower than 30% so make sure it's charged and you're all good to go for wireless mice. Now we're going to be moving on to the optimizations for both wired and wireless mice. So the first optimization we're going to be doing is disabling mouse acceleration in Windows. Doing this will make it so that when you're moving your mouse it stays the same speed while moving it left and right and up and down. So to disable this, you're going to search for the mouse settings. Then you're going to click additional mouse options, pointer options, and untick enhance pointer position. After you've done this, drag the little blue thing to six bars along. So it's in the middle. And once you've done this, click apply. And that's disabling mouse acceleration in Windows. After you've done this, you're going to have to disable it in Fortnite, so click Windows R, search for percent, local app data, percent, then find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, right click this and make sure that read only is not ticked, then you're going to click onto this, click Control F and find mouse, just search mouse here, click find next and then set this to true with a capital T. Once you've done this, click file, save, click off this and make sure you tick the read only box again. So next time you load up the game, it'll still be enabled. Now for the next thing, it's not really an optimization, but it will reduce latency. So if you have any RGB effects on your mouse, then turn them off because having it on is just going to make it change color or even having a still color on there. It's just going to be putting more things on your mouse instead of none. So if you turn it off, you'll get lower latency. And in my opinion, I'd rather have no colors on my mouse and have faster gameplay than it looking nice. Now for the next step, we're gonna be updating our mouse drivers. Doing this is gonna make sure that we're on the newest update, giving us the fastest response time. To do this, search for the device manager and open it. Then find mice and other pointing devices at the top. The top one should be your mouse, right click it, click update driver and search automatically for drivers. Mine says the best drivers are already installed. If it doesn't say this, it should say update here. And if it does, then make sure you update it. And once you've done this, you can click out of this and your mouse is fully up to date. So the final thing you're going to want to do is making sure that your mouse sensor is clean. If you turn your mouse over and you look at the sensor and it's got dust on it, just wipe it with like a q-tip or some tissue or just blow on it make sure that it's got no dust on it because if it has then it's not going to function as it should and it can actually give you higher delay so just make sure it's clean i really hope this video helped you out guys if it did make sure you drop a like and subscribe because i really appreciate it when you do that and i'll see you in the next video guys